Now, your 21 Alive First Alert forecast. Good morning. Today's been issued as a first alert weather day as we deal with rounds of thunderstorms, some of which could be on the severe side. But when it comes to rounds of thunderstorms like this, the severe risk is very conditional. We have an earlier round of storms, roughly about 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., and a later round of storms, 3 to 9. That 3 to 9 time window is what I'm looking at. But depending on how this first round of storms covers our area and how quickly it moves out, that's going to be largely dependent on what our severe weather risk is for the late afternoon and evening. So as you head out the door right now, we are fully dry. That line of storms slowly comes in later today. Storm Prediction Center, including 21 country in a level three of five enhanced risk for severe weather. In fact, that covers almost the entirety of the Hoosier State, Northern Kentucky and Western Ohio as well. Here's the look at future track as we break things down for today. Your early morning hours staying very quiet and dry. Rain chances with that first line of thunderstorms don't come in until the afternoon. So if you do have lunch plans today, you're going to need the umbrella. This line itself, I am not expecting to be severe. So for the afternoon, at least the early part of the afternoon, no weather worries to talk about. You will likely hear some rumbles of thunder, some heavy downpours at times, but this is specifically what could be a big determiner on later. If this holds together and still produces a decent amount of rumbles of thunder here or there, it could help to suck up a lot of the energy. Plus, how quickly this moves out will depend on how much recovery time we have. Check out all this clearing pretty much off to the west. This is the big determiner and how our atmosphere recharges almost like a battery. So as we go into the late afternoon and evening, depending on if we have sufficient charging time, that could allow us to see some isolated strong to severe thunderstorms, which future track is already picking up that evening time frame, just keeping an eye out have a way to get alerts for later today, whether any watches or warnings get issued. As I mentioned, this is conditional, so one round of storms really depending on the other. Late tonight, though, we are fully dry and clear, so the overnight hours not going to be any big issues. If we do end up getting to strong to severe status, all modes of severe weather on the table, including the highest potential today, which would be strong wind gusts up to 60 plus miles per hour, or even large hail in some cases. And yes, the tornado risk is still possible in our area if we do end up getting some of those isolated strong to severe storms. Going into tomorrow, our storm risk has gone down significantly. You can see we're just barely in that level one marginal risk for severe weather. And even on Thursday, no severe weather to talk about. Here's the look at your seven day forecast. Temps today and tomorrow are in the 70s, but we continue to cool off from there, making it back into the 60s by the tail end of this work week. Mother's Day weekend looking to be in the low 60s, partly cloudy skies with the chance for an isolated shower.